Now who would have thought one small little penny would sell for so much money? For a moment, I want you to imagine you come across a rare coin and you have no idea what it's worth. You bring that coin to a pawn shop and they offer you a few dollars. Later on, you watch one of my videos and you realize that what you just sold that pawn shop was actually worth hundreds or thousands of dollars. That's what I want to avoid on this channel. You know, I don't want that happening. So on this video, I'm going to go over some coins, some small little pennies that sold for a lot of money. Let's jump into this video. So up first we have a 1917S. Now this little wheat penny here was graded by NGCA Mint State 63. The reason why I wanted to show this coin is because first of all it sold for $275 and the biggest reason why is because one, it graded very highly by NGC at the Mint State grade. Remember the highest grade we can get in grading is 70. Also this coin has a bit of what some collectors call a wood grain appearance. Now this typically does not increase the value whatsoever of the coin, but there are collectors out there that will collect wood grain looking coins like this. So it is kind of neat, but unless your wood grain looking coin is graded very highly, that means the condition is really high, your coin is not going to be worth that much money. So here we have a 1917 coin, this one graded by PCGS a mint state 66. Now the important thing to know on this coin compared to the last coin is there's no mint mark around the date there. Typically, if your coin does not have a mint mark around the date, that means that your coin was struck at the Philadelphia Mint. There are some exceptions to that rule, but that's for a different video. So because this 1917 penny that was struck at the Philadelphia Mint was graded so highly, it sold for $913. All right, so this is when we started to get into the cool ones. So this one sold for $1,258, and this is why. So typically on my channel, I go over coins that grade really highly. This one graded at an XF, meaning extremely fine, 45. This is a 1917 Lincoln wheat cent penny. So this is a great example that even if your coin is not graded very highly, it can still bring a lot of money. And this is the biggest thing you need to be looking out for on your 1917 penny here, because you could be completely looking over this and accidentally spending these coins that sell for thousands of dollars. So you're going to need some sort of magnification to see what we are looking at here. This is called a doubled die obverse coin. Now obverse means the front of the coin, reverse means the back of the coin, but essentially during the minting process, this error occurred where there is some doubling happening on the coins here. Now you can see in the date and the motto at the top, I'm going to have some zoomed in pictures here. This is what collectors call doubling. Now you can get a USB microscope. Those are a bit expensive or you can get a small little jeweler's loop that works as well. But these are the biggest things you need to be looking out for because all of these things combined allowed this coin to sell for $1,258. This coin sold in auction for $3,951 and honestly, I think it could have brought more money depending on who it was sold to but essentially same exact thing here except this one graded at a mint state 61. Now just imagine if this graded at a 65 or a 68 it would sell for so much more money but essentially the same thing here again guys the doubling is so important on your coin especially the 1917 because this coin sold for $3,951. Hit that subscribe button it really does help out with the YouTube algorithm. Stay tuned for more and I'll see you in the next video.